Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, week, or weekend, but if you're not, it's okay, have faith, things will get better, but today we're going to be doing another Procreate type of video. Um, I'm going to be doing that cool thing where you turn a picture that you really love into a cartoon-ish kind of thing. Um, I've been doing this for a while, but I guess I told you guys that the series is going to be like focused on one thing about Procreate, but I don't really know what this Procreate video is focused on. Maybe blending and like adding details to these cartoon things. I don't know. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and see ya! So the picture I chose was a picture of me and my friends at Disneyland. I just went into Procreate, clicked photo on the top right, and then imported it. And for each person, they got their own layer. And I'm using the eyedropper tool, as you can see here. You just take your pen and then hover over the colors, and then you can color match to whatever you're trying to trace. So it's pretty simple, you just trace your shapes and then you just fill it in by taking the color on the corner and then dragging it over. And I'm using a technical pen to do all of this here. And then I wanted it at the ear, but then it looked like a tiny teeny ear. So then I just covered it up with the hair and it looked a lot better like that. And this was like the hardest part doing these shoes because they were so checkered. But yeah, I felt like a really big pervert and very uncomfortable doing this because sometimes I'd be like zoomed up on boobies or a penis or like a cooch and I just felt really uncomfortable and I'm so sorry for my friends if I was like staring like zoomed up to your face because it was really really weird but I try to go as quick as possible in those areas but I have never felt like such a perv in my entire life than when I was doing this cartoon. Okay, so back to the drawing. I was not about to do the same exact thing for her left foot, so what I did was I took the lasso and I circled it and I copied it and then I looked at the layers and I chose the layer that the copied one is on and then I moved it over. And then using the tools at the bottom, the uniform freeform distort and warp. In order to match it perfectly, I went to that layer, clicked on the little N and then turned the opacity down so I can match it. And then I started using freeform and this allows you to distort it in like the lateral or longitudinal. And then I started using distort. And as you can see, you can do all the middle, the middle and then the edges. And then the warp was a lot easier. It divides it into nine different little boxes. And then you could drag the corners in order to match. And that was the most helpful. And this is what I got. And then I cleaned up the edges and I continued on. And the thing with outlining and filling is wherever you start and wherever you finish, it needs to be fully connected. If there's like a gap anywhere, this will happen when you try to fill it in. And then you have to go back and then find where the hole is and it's really tiring. I ended up just filling in smaller spaces and not bigger spaces. But also this is how I went about doing her hair. Um, her hair has like 10,000 beautiful different colors but it was very hard to blend and to make it look nice. But I ended up going back to it because how I did it right here kind of looked a little crappy. So you'll see at the end that I went to fix it. And then in order to do her shirt detail without having to go around all her little hairs, I made a new layer, put it underneath her whole body layer, and then I started coloring it. And then once I was done, I just merged all those separate pieces together by taking the first layer and the bottom layer and then just merging it into one. And then I continued on to every single person. And I thought this was really funny. Sometimes I'd have like random legs and like... It looked so freaking hilarious to me for some reason that there's just random legs and half bodies and look, there's only legs now. And then I wanted to show you guys like there's this random line in the background as you can see. I don't know what layer this was in, but as long as it doesn't show in the final piece, I didn't really care. But yeah, don't even worry about it. This was my favorite part when doing this little project was doing my little flower um, Disney ears because I love blending. It's so satisfying to see it blend together and how I usually do it is I just color match it and then I draw like little blocks of where the colors are and then I just blend it out like so. So I just do the color block and then I blend it out. And then when it's hard to see what I'm tracing from the picture, I turn down the opacity of that layer that I'm drawing on so I could see and I can trace better like I'm doing right here for this flower because it was white so it was really difficult to see. Now I'm going to start adding details so in order to do that I turn down the opacity and then I color match where the darker spots are and then where the highlighting spots are on the clothing like right here as, she, as you can see she's like crunched over so um, there's going to be like little um, darker spots in the back of her knee and then I also did it to the shoes and I'm using the little blending um, finger it's on the top 
right and it's the second one as you can see right here and i'm using the soft brush the thinner one and then i also go back and forth between the soft one and the thicker one as you, you'll see later and i'm doing the same thing for her shirt or her sweater and i'm getting in the darker places and the highlighting and then her knees had like a little lighter highlighting blue oh my gosh can you hear my laptop it's like breathing like crazy i started blending with the soft airbrush and then i noticed that it was a little coarse and the lines weren't blending as well so you'll see i go into the soft brush and then i made everything smooth and this is what really made the creases and the folds in her sweater look more realistic and when blending it's kind of hard to stay in the lines because sometimes like you'll see right here that when i'm blending it goes into her hair but it's okay you can just go back and clean up the edges like i'm doing right here in one second where is it right there how i just clean it up and it's a-okay and then i'm going to do the same thing for the knees where i put the white lightish blue highlight and her nails look crusty but it's okay i went back and i fixed it and then it's like i said it's really hard to get to the edges so what i usually do is i just take my brush or pen and then i draw whatever color i'm using and i take the smaller soft airbrush and then like i am doing right now i do the thinnest um, thickness of the pen and then i blend it out then i go back with the thicker soft brush and then i blend it completely um but then i realized there's a lot of holes so i went back and i fixed it up and i did all the little things that i missed and then i went back to fix the hair because it was looking like a hot mess but basically i just wherever the darker places were in her hair so like her hair was tucked behind her ear so where that area is where it's tucked behind her ear it's obviously going to be darker so i just took a darker brown and then i colored it in and then i blended it out and this is what it turned out to be and i did the same thing with my backpack where all the creases and where it folded my backpack looks humongous i don't know why it's bulging like that but my back was probably hurting so much that day and then I wanted to outline all of us, so then I made a new layer, put it at the very, very bottom, and then I outlined it in a very light, pretty pink. And then I wanted to write the word Disneyland somewhere, but then I ended up writing it right along the edge of us, so it kind of like wrapped around us. And I really like how it turned out. I'm very happy. If I wanted to turn this into a sticker, I could, um, but it's just a very cute memory that I love. This was like one of the best days of my life. I don't know why, but I love it and I'm glad I got to recreate it in this cartoon way. And I only did details for the one girl, Annie, because if I did all of them, it would have taken too long, so I'm very sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please like it, subscribe it, comment it, share it, and um, if this is a weird angle and I'm hunched over, it's because I didn't set up my tripod because I'm too lazy. But anyways, thank you for watching. Um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Even though I rarely post, if you guys follow me, I'll be more encouraged to post. Um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.